boy Ant Diesel. What up? So I wanted to drop this video about the first time I was arrested. So I was a fresh 18 years old. I'm twice that age now, still looking good. Anyway, I wanted to go to the club. Saturday morning, I was off Saturday and Sunday when I worked at McDonald's at 18 years old in my own apartment. You know, everything was on the up and up for your boy. So, went outside, went to the store, got me a fresh pair of Air Force Ones, black. Got me a, a fresh new outfit, black. You know, just like I like my guns, all black. You know, went and spent $70, get my, my, my shit chopped up. And... Get a call from one of my homeboys. Yo, aunt, I'ma stop through over there. What's going on? Bet, come through. Brr. Another phone call. Little chick I was dealing with at the time. Not really dealing with, just a little situation. You know how that go. Went outside, started cleaning out my car, turned the radio all the way up. Two 10-inch W3s in a band pass box. JL Audio, 1,000 watt amp pumping outside of my apartment complex. It was two in the afternoon by this time. So I did that. My homeboy pulled up. Yo, grabbed his bag, put all the garbage, you know, soda cans, juice bottles, alcohol bottles. Young and dumb. It is what it is. We all been there. So I then see the, the, the girl pull up. So she thought she was gonna get special treatment because she gave me special treatment. No, she started helping me clean the car. So she was on the vacuum, she was back, reaches under the seat of my, my, my driver's seat, and lo and behold, the trusty pellet gun. Modeled after this firearm right here. Okay, so when she found it, instead of her moving it, putting it on the floor, vacuuming up under the seat, no. She decided the one thing to do was to pick it up and point it at everybody. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, I'ma shoot you, I'ma shoot you. You know, young and dumb, once again, we all been there. So, my neighbor, my upstairs neighbor, opened up the balcony door and yelled, could have could have maintained low tone, you know, cause the music wasn't that loud. It was a lot of bass, but it wasn't obnoxiously loud. It wasn't shaking anybody's fixtures, none of that shit. She decided because she was who she was and I was who I am, she was allowed to talk to me any kind of reckless. Hey, can you turn that shit down? My kids are trying to sleep. Said, look, bitch, give a fuck about your kids, they ain't mine. Wake them motherfuckers up. Ain't nap time anyway. So she slams her fucking, her, her balcony door closed. So after that exchange, we went back to cleaning the car and I turned it down just a little bit. But still, when you turn it down, the bass is still rumping. Get another phone call. Had to, you know, the little brick cell phone, that, that first Nokia with the with the green screen that took you 20 minutes to type out, what's up? Hey, and we running ball up at Barnett. It's a little elementary school. It's summertime, nice and toasty outside. Sun's beaming, you know? So I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm stop through up there after I'm done cleaning my car. All right, homeboy, we'll see you in a minute. Peace. And I noticed that my neighbor was grilling the shit out of me. Head up to, to the school, you know, riding. Bumping, the music turned all the way up. So we get up to the school, turn the car off, get out there, start running ball. One of my homeboys, certified gangster, said, yo, Ann, why don't you pull your car onto the, the school grounds, lift up the trunk, and, and you know, let the music play while we, while we balling, some and one shit. Damn, that sounds like a great fucking idea. So we, we playing ball, all of a sudden, I see three cop cruisers pull around the corner of the school. In my head, I was safe. Why? 
out of the 13 people here, at least nine of these motherfuckers had real guns. At least four of them motherfuckers had warrants. Again, I'm safe. So I went back to my car, you know, to turn the music down. Got back out the vehicle. I looked and I got three Glock 17s pointed in my direction. That is 17 rounds per magazine. Three of them looking at your boy. Oh shit, hey, what's going on? What's, what's happening? You have reason to believe you have a firearm in the, in the vehicle. And when three guns is pointing in your direction, you are not thinking with a, with a clear mind. Forgetting the fact that I had a pellet gun that was a replica of a real gun didn't have the little orange tip on the front, none of that shit. The shit looked legitimate. I'm not thinking of this. I'm just thinking about the fact that, you know, 17 times three, all in my ass. Can I search a vehicle? Bruh, you can search, all three of y'all can search my damn vehicle. Can I go in the glove box? Handle your business. Can I go in your trunk? It's already open. Do what you gotta do. And you know, I'm talking to them like, you know, I'm solid, I know what the hell, I know what's going on. So, after that, he, he, you know, one of the cops reached into the glove box, the other one's there in the back seat, one of them's in the trunk, you know, and then the cop reaches under my seat and pulls out my pellet gun. And I was like, oh shit, this gonna go all the way sideways, what the fuck? I thought you said you didn't have a firearm in the, in the vehicle. I said, with all due respect, officer that right there is not a firearm that is a pellet gun so he tried to rack it wasn't racking then he looked at the bottom and saw this little twist thing where the co2 cartridge went and he was like hmm but it's on school ground so he was just fishing for a reason to take my black ass to jail he gets on his on his little you know walkie talkie that, hey got this nigga over here you know has a pellet gun in the in car uh what do you want to do about that person responds you know the dispatcher responds well that's not a felony and it's not a misdemeanor for him to have a pellet gun then he gets back on hey uh but he's parked on school grounds and it was under the seat of his vehicle you know fuck this nigga probably didn't say fuck this nigga but he wanted to say it but it was not politically correct and it was a bunch of other niggas that probably would have gave them a run for their money with all the guns that should have been on everybody Right, so they say, okay, well, it's up to you. Do you want to bring him in for a misdemeanor or what? You know what? He was like, yeah, I'm gonna bring him in. So I was like, hey, bruh, I'm, I don't want to get my car towed because I ain't got the money to get that bitch out. Can I pass my keys off to somebody so that they can take my car and park it in front of my house, which is literally up the damn street a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. So I went, gave it to old girl because she was the most responsible out of all of the people that was in attendance, you know? So that's what I did. Hey, specific instruction. Take my car to my house, nowhere else. Lock the door, take my keys with you. I, you gonna come pick me up when I get up out of here later on today because I ain't planning on being in that bitch long. So they handcuffed me, you know, I'm doing the, the perp walk, you know, they, they handcuff you, boy. Get over there, they fingerprint me, take my picture, you know, get my weight, my height, the whole nine, you know, booking. And then the dude that was going to take my fingerprints was like, hey, your mom and dad are my neighbors. Fuck, this dude gonna go over to my mom and dad's house Tell them your son is locked the fuck up. I literally spent the night in jail. They tried to offer me this sandwich that had some brown shit on the inside. Don't know what the fuck it was. Gave me this warm ass apple and a big ass cup of watered down grape soda. I tell them, I don't want your bullshit sandwich. You keep that motherfucker. Give me that warm ass apple and the watered down ass grape soda. Nigga shit. Next morning, I get out, you know, because they kept me overnight just to keep me overnight because, again, it was optional to bring me in or not. I have old girl pick me up. Now, she's acting a little weird. She's acting nervous, you know what I'm saying? What the hell are you nervous for? You got warrants? I don't know. I'll holler at you later on. 
She did. I jumped in my car. She did not lock the doors. Okay. So I had maybe a $800 to $1,000 system and CD player in the vehicle that could have got taken while I was in jail overnight. And I didn't live in the best of neighborhoods. She left the keys on the, on the seat with the doors unlocked in front of my house. My car could have been gone. So I start the car, everything good. I look, no gas in the bitch, and I just got done filling it up before I went and got my outfit and shoes, right? After that, I go and try to drive the car, you know, to the gas station to get gas. The car's, you know, leaning to one side. What the fuck going on here? Jump out, I got a cracked rim and a flat damn tire. When she parked my car or she drove my car somewhere, she hit something that cracked the rim, which in turn completely fucked up the tire. I had to get it towed to a shop, get my brand new credit card, run it for $300 with a little $500 limit on the bitch. Completely fucked up my day. That is the first time I got locked up. I got three guns pointed in my face, went to jail on some bullshit, came out to a car that was all fucked up. A couple days later, I went to court. The judge said, hey, if we can keep this firearm, we'll drop the charges. Bet, you can keep the firearm if you'd like. I'll go ahead and buy you a second one and hand it to you just because I'm being cooperative right now. I just want to get the fuck up out of here. There you go. First time I got locked up, overnighter. Never spent more than four days in jail, you know, on some ignorant shit. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Don't study my moves. Just check my footwork.